Hello everyone, Sir Wes here of Isles of Media and welcome back to our channel. And as what we mentioned in our previous videos, some of the latest and hottest news in our agency has been the announcement about the end of the Dep at Google Workspace for Education. This entails the end of our Dep at Email via Gmail and the termination of our unlimited access to Google Drive which includes uploading and editing of our saved files and templates. In time, we would be expecting that all these files will no longer be accessible or worse, it would be deleted. The safest thing to do would be to move all of our Google Drive to our Microsoft Office 365 OneDrive, which is Google Drive's counterpart. Of course, all of our files in our Google Drive will be converted to a compatible application for Microsoft. That means your Google Docs will be opened via MS Word, Google Spreadsheets to MS Excel, and so on. So how do we move our Google Drive files to MS OneDrive? There are two ways to do that. The first way would be possible only if all of your files in Google Drive are also available in your laptops. Basically, that means that your Google Drive files are synced with your laptop's hard drive. This option is for those who use Google Drive desktop application. So you only need to download the OneDrive application from your Microsoft 365 accounts, install it in your laptops, and just transfer the files immediately. The files will automatically be synced to your OneDrive account. But if you have files in your Google Drive that aren't available in your laptops, then the second option will be your most efficient and effective option. You can do this file transfer online by linking both Google Drive and OneDrive. Let me show you how. For those who haven't received this email from Central Office, let me share it right now. Let's log into my Gmail account and search for the email. And so this is the email they sent us, which is to activate our Depp at Microsoft 365 accounts. It says here that you should click this link to activate your account using the username and temporary password that Microsoft provided for you. Once you logged in, make sure to follow these format guidelines in setting up your new password. So let's click the link and open our Microsoft accounts. I'll log into my account because this isn't my first time using MS365 online. I'll also log in with my password. And then Microsoft will ask you if you want to stay signed in from this browser. So I'll just tick on this box here and click yes after. Now this will be our Microsoft 365 dashboard. And as you can see here, I'm logged in on my account. And all this here are some of the files that I uploaded previously when I was using my Microsoft Teams account. On the left side panel, you can see the applications that are available for you online. This is where you'll also have access to OneDrive, either here or here. Once you click the OneDrive application, you will be directed to the OneDrive online platform. Here you will see all the files that you have uploaded within the system. Now let's open a new window and open our Google Drive account so that I can also show you how many files I have on it. And as you can see, I have numerous files here on my Google Drive account. All these files accumulated for so many years of service from being a classroom teacher to the division's office and up to now where I am back on the field. Apart from that, if you click on the computers tab here on the left, you will see all the backups I've made for my MacBook for several years as well. And that includes my current MacBook that I'm also using right now too. Anyway, let's go back to my drive and what we'll do is to transfer everything here in our drive and move it here in our OneDrive account. So just to be organized, I'll make a new folder by clicking here and a window will pop up asking you to create a folder and designate a name on it. This is where I will be moving all of my Google Drive files on this particular folder just so that I know where to specifically look for a lot easier. So I'll just name this as Google Drive Depot Account. This is my folder name and then click Create. And here's our new folder that we created to which we will hopefully move all of our files from our Google Drive. Again, the objective would be to move all of my files here from Google Drive to here in our newly created folder in our OneDrive account that we activated a while ago. 
to begin let's open a new window and type mover.io here in our url address as you can see this is used to migrate your content specifically to your microsoft 365 it's a migration tool manager for work and school-based accounts these are the different platforms you can use this tool and these are further deals about it let's go back up and log into mover account by clicking here you will be asked to sign in in your microsoft account here but remember when i logged in on my microsoft account i ticked the box that asked me to keep me signed in that's why when this pop-up will load it won't ask me to log in my email and password anymore now it loaded and i'm now in the mover migration tool page in here there are two prerequisite steps to take step one which is to select the source and step two which is to select destination in step one select source i should choose my google drive again in step two select destination i will select my microsoft onedrive account folder that i created previously so we'll select the source by clicking this button now we will choose our source from all these available platforms that are compatible with mover.io i'm going to choose this one which is google drive single user and not the cloud storage because we're using google drive and then click this authorize button here a confirmation page will open up for you that you're choosing this platform to confirm that we'll click the authorize button here and since i didn't log my google drive indefinitely in my browser i'm asked to log in my debit email account here so i'll just click on this account and then click the allow button you will be back on the mover tool page and as you can see here the page is trying to load all the files that are available in my google drive storage and as it completes it says here that every root file and folder this user owns will be copied which is what we are trying to achieve and let's check and that's a lot of files but do remember that this process will highly rely on your internet connectivity for as long as you have a stable internet connection this will be a very good choice to move all of your files online but if you don't have a stable internet connection and you don't have the luxury of time to wait for a huge number of files to be transferred then i highly suggest you follow the previous option which is to download the google drive application and onedrive application in your laptops make sure all of the files in your google drive are synced with your local files and then sync your laptop with your onedrive account all together so that every time you go online it will automatically try to upload all of your files in your onedrive account now let's move to step two which is to select destination of these files so let's click on authorize new connector here and we'll choose the destination connector here basically the file should go here on my google drive folder that we created we're gonna choose onedrive for business single user do not choose the onedrive consumer since our accounts are owned by that ad and as a multi-user account under one agency we shouldn't choose this option as well because in order to use this platform you should have system admin accounts so we'll choose the onedrive for business single user and click on the authorize button and again you will be asked to confirm the option once you chose so we'll just click on authorize button again this time you'll be asked to sign in since you are now authorizing the app to access your drive we'll just click on next here and for the password as well again i'm gonna tick this and stay signed in box and click yes okay so now that's loaded and my files are also seen here in our mover page but since i want to move my google drive to this folder i created which is my onedrive folder from here i'll double click this folder to open it and now that the folder has loaded and as you can see it is empty now we can proceed to step three which is to start transferring all of my google drive files to my onedrive account folder that we created by clicking start copy this is our transfer status dashboard 
as you can see here, there are already some statistical data that has been shown. This is because I already tested this tool twice previously in my other OneDrive account, which is available here. These results show that I also canceled the transfer procedure because I only did this to test this tool. As you can also see, I tested it twice just to be sure that it does really work. Here in the third row is our current file transfer status, indicating that the transfer process is running. What you can do now is basically wait for everything to finish, and of course, that really takes time depending on your internet connection and the total file size you have in your Google Drive. Let me speed this up a little bit so that you can see what happens as it transfer all of my files. As it says here, we've already transferred a little over 1 gigabyte of files to our OneDrive. So let's check our OneDrive tab here if it already has some files in it. So as you can see, the files are already starting to transfer. And we also have folders that are already created in our OneDrive account. That can tell us that our transfer process is going smoothly. Again, all you have to do is to wait for all of this to finish and hopefully we can move our files from Google Drive to our Microsoft OneDrive accounts easily. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please don't forget to subscribe here in our channel and always click the notification bell to get notified with our latest videos. Like and share our videos with others so that they would learn from us too. That wraps it up for this tutorial and this is Sir Wes of Integrated School Forums and thank you for watching.